um, I've got one here which I show how to do. So that's that's the end product right there. Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, I quickly wanted to make this video because quite a lot of my reselling friends and other people have reached out and said that they're having trouble printing labels with brother label printers, okay? Uh, I use a QL560. Uh, it's a really good printer, but I had to jump through a few hurdles when I initially got it to make my labels fit and scale properly. Um, I've got one here, which I show how to do. So that's that's the end product right there. Um, <clears throat> if it's the first time watching one of my videos, welcome to the channel. My name is Daryl. I am an eBay reseller and I go to charity shops, car boot sales, Facebook marketplace, source items, and I resell them on eBay to make a profit. Uh, and that's how I basically make an income online. So stick with me if you want to learn about reselling. Um, I share loads of helpful tips and tricks to help you obviously get sales, um, what to sell, etc. Um, my goal is to basically create a, a reselling community. That is, <coughs> excuse me, that is my ultimate goal to help other people. So let's get into the video. Right, so we're in my um, seller hub here. Excuse my sniffles, I have hay fever. And it's... Uh, it's doing my head in today. But anyway, um, so I've printed a few labels, but now I'm going to show you how to uh, how to print your label, but how to make sure you print it properly. Quite a few of my reseller friends um, ask me what printer I use, and I've seen this in uh, multiple chats on Facebook groups that I'm in, um, that when printing labels, you can't get it to fit properly or it prints out wrong. Um, it's, not, it's not printing out how it should. It's either too big or it's too small or it's only printing certain parts um, so I'm going to show you how to as I said at the beginning of the video do it proper um, the printer I currently use is a brother p-touch qr 560 good good little printer plug it into your uh, laptop via a um, USB printer cable download the firmware you're good to go but this is the hurdle that I face when I tried to print it I thought why isn't the label printing fully on the label it was mad and then sometimes it came like a meter's worth of label came out and i won't bore you with it but i'm going to help you out today so i send all of my stuff via herms um pack link through ebay so as you can see here here's the item i've obviously blocked out um, addresses for obvious reasons um i know my um item weighs less than one kg because i've weighed it and it will be in a small box when you weigh your items ladies and gents weigh your items um once they're packaged so what i've done with this i've already got the box i know i'm going to send it in i've put it in the box and i've weighed it so i'm like okay perfect that's under one kg um and obviously as you can see here on herms uh, max length 120 centimeters uh, max for oversized 254 now this is recently changed because it used to be 35 centimeters by 45 and 16 centimeters deep. I'm not going to complain because uh, the price has also gone down um, a lot. By it's halved almost. I don't know. Happy days. So um, we've got the label there, um, and I'm going to pay for it. Now this is the process. This is exactly what I do when I print my labels. I'll download label, and as you can see, it'll come up here. Address blocked out for obvious reasons. I will then download. Click this, it will go white. That means it's downloaded, okay? I will then, make this a little bit smaller. I will then go to my, uh, these are my footage from the car boots. I'll then go to my downloads. It will be at the top. There we go. Right, this is what you have to do, ladies and gents. This is what you have to do to get your label printing correctly. You have to screenshot the screen. So you hold down Command, Shift, 3. And as you can see, a little screenshot's popped up there in the bottom right-hand corner. It's very long-winded and it is a bit of a pain, but hey-ho. Then double-click on the screenshot and this is the screenshot of the PDF document. You then need to select around the label like so, okay? Then go to edit, cut, and it cuts it out. Then go to file, new from clipboard, and it will paste the cut onto a new document, okay? You can title it if you want, 
but I usually just go straight to print. Okay, now here's the major key. You need to make sure that um, you select the right size. So 62 by 100 mil, so basically 6.2 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And you need to see how it is on the screen now. That's what it was doing to mine. And I was thinking, why is it doing that? And it was really frustrating. I've wasted so much labels. Um, you need to go to scale to fit. Can you see? So if you've got it on scale, this is what's going to happen. You have to have it on scale to fit. Uh, scale, scale to fit. So if you have it on scale, um, it will not be uh, correct. You need to make sure you have it on scale to fit. It's not changing now, but you would have seen it before. So, um, and then we print. And you'll hear the printer. And there you have it, ladies and gents. A label the correct size ready to stick on your parcel. I hope that's helped uh, because it really, 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 really done my head in when I got this printer. I was looking for ages and I thought this can't be right. There has to be a solution. I still believe there is a better solution that you shouldn't have to take a screenshot and all of that. If you find it, please let me know. But I've got that quick at doing this now. Um, it's just the easiest way to get it done. So thank you for watching the video. Um, massive love to all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video, you're appreciated. Um, and stick with me on my journey. Um, as you've probably seen in my latest few videos, the car boots are back with a bang. I just went to a charity shop today and got some great pickups, some really, really good pickups. And yeah, um, I love this game. You take care, that's it from me. Peace.